What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Day here. Welcome to you back some more. Dang it, Rapa. Goodbye, Despair. Um, in the last episode, uh, we had a Despair-filled episode. If you guys do not know what happened, I will not spoil what happened because I had a grand old reaction to it. Um, now that you've had time to click off and go to the last episode, I will let you guys know what's going on. Uh, Nakamaru got shot. And I am pissed, okay? Because you cannot try and kill my boy, Monokuma. Um, and there, I, I, I have a feeling that what's going to happen, because he's got a heart condition, he was shot in the chest, even though Monokuma is going to try and save him, I do not think that he's going to be saved. And if he is saved, then he's going to be saved to get killed. And I would almost rather him die now than give me the false hope that he's safe. And then have him get killed by, like, Nikon or something silly like that. Because, no. I mean, because if... T mm, no. Yo. Oh, it is you, Hayame. Ha! Huh. Even such abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Nakamaru, what that bastard mean by his final firework? That line is more suited for the Yakuza anyway. Nakamaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. you. Shut up and don't say another word! <laughs> Just go ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fujihiko. Well, yeah, I... Mm, I really don't know why you make that comparison in front of Fujihiko. Like, mm -hmm. as I was walking to the restaurant unintentionally, I felt my feet come to a swift halt. <laughs> Akane probably feels so bad. From the inside of the restaurant, I heard the sound of a girl crying. That sounded like Akane. Ah, uh, I feel bad. Uh, this this one's gonna hit Akane probably about as hard as I as me. Is someone crying inside? Nikon or is it Kyogo? It's neither. I don't think it's either. I think it's Akane. While peeking at the restaurant, I slowly stepped in the side. That's that, I think it's Akane. Yeah, <laughs> that made sense. Huh? Akane. You're the one who's crying? <laughs> Duh! Her trainer just fucking died! I, I, I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? Uh, I'm scared. What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekamaru? No! It's almost like that was like one of her top relationships, just like mine. Oh my god. And she feels bad because she's a direct result to what happened. Emotional intelligence, Hayame. Get it together. But yesterday, she was acting braver. Emotional intelligence. Get it together. Anyway, <laughs> that's the title of the episode already. I found the title in like two seconds. I'm not surprised. But what happened to Connie? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekamaru got killed, you know. <clears throat> what are you saying? It's not like Nekamaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. She must have been in shock that Nekamaru sacrificed herself or himself for her. No, there's no way that explains the change in this sudden, that this sudden and drastic. It does. It is literally. Uh, I'm so mad at freaking. I'm mad at Hayame right now. Hey, what happened to Okane? She's acting kind of weird. I see. Hayame. Be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. What? Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. You, 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 what are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekamaru couldn't be saved. Exactly what I expected. It's unfortunate, but the transfer student is apparently going to come as soon as the replacement. Wait, why? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't just go off and replace Nekamaru. <laughs> so let's give all that person a warm welcome. You. Are you messing around? It's the truth. Oh, I'm not messing around. Because I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. Listen carefully. Hi, Ma. I have finally discovered who our traitor is. <laughs> You know, the true identity of World Ender. The true raider who is hiding among us no is Biakia. That's right, Biakia is alive. 
He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Hey, it's definitely best we keep Nagito tied up. I agree, Yoko. I'm with you. Let's do it. No, not just tied up. No. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off of his face and expose the meat that we can't identify him. So we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot. He lied about Mahiro being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. What? what why? Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know. I... I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until these joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Pardon me, everyone. Do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello. My name is Ibuki. It may be very rude of me, but I want to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki. Yes, I am Ibuki Mayota. Aren't you acting strange, too? I feel like this might be a dream. Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hayame's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. Wh what are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hayame, I am not tasty, so please do not eat me. He is obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie? It's the truth. It is not a lie, because I never tell lies. Understood. I see. It is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after a while. Wh what the heck is this? Kane, Nagito, Ibuki are all acting strange. What's going on? Um, Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. Th that's not it. Yes. I Ibuki has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why? Well, why, why, why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan Subiki. <laughs> Anyways, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand is over or to her forehead. Abuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my head out on Biku's, Buki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot. What is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That is right. She has a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so weak. I placed my head on Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has a high fever. There's no way that that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I am extremely great today. I placed my hand on the forehead once again and got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? But the reason you guys are saying such... Is that the reason that you guys are saying such wacky stuff? Emergency. Oh my goodness, Emergency. this is obviously bad. Monokuma. For him to appear right now, does it mean this? Just a minute. Whoa there! Can you just... Uh, a second for the explanation? Wait, just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too! Just like Matt Monok as Just as Monokuma said, I heard fo footsteps pounding. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered on their face. What's going on? N now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Me? Did something happen to you guys? Looks like everyone is here! Now then, let's start with the explanation! Wait! Hold on! Monokuma, you are pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekamaru? Hurry up and return him first, you rubber bear! Hmm? Nekamaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You stupid- Who the heck is that? Nekamaru doesn't have any weird ability like that! A mysterious like energy. Well now. Now then, I must shut up the nuisance. Let's go back to the topic at hand. Though well, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you are all quick witted. So, it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is That's right. That's right. This is the new motive that I've given you. It's the despair this is... disease. Oh boy. Despair disease? Actually, you know, these are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's, it's not true. like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> the despair disease? I've, I've never heard of such thing. Well? 
then let me tell you about it. As the name to suggest, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is inflicted with the liar disease and Akane has been inflicted with the coward disease. Aboki has been has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get those symptoms that are opposite of their normal personalities, except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person, just like a cold. Huh? You mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down. Just because you don't have the disease, it'd be awful if everyone got sick. Let's run, Miss Sonia. It'd be terrible if you caught the loathly disease of the common folks. Oh. That's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that the motive? Are you saying that killing will occur soon after everyone falls into the crazy state? Phew. Isn't that quite a novel idea? I can't wait. A killing that occurs while everyone has completely different personalities. Think of all the murder tricks. Is there really a way, any way to treat it? Why? Why, there is a need to treat it. I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. It's a disease that curves your soft hearts, your soft hearts towards killing. And this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. Why, you, you bastard, you better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry I was always bothering you. All right. I have decided, as an apology, I am going to commit murder. Are there are any char charcoal bri er, briquettes somewhere? Um. I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Stop it, Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. You guys stay put. Okay. You're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Komita is a fake name. And I'm so sorry I kept it a secret till now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again? Are you serious? Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great to sit today. This despair disease is so awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 and despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope anyway. We have to all die from this despair disease. That's the only way. Thump. Whoa! He collapsed. Nagito! Ooh, now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? I'm so excited about it. I'm just going to stand around naked. Just kidding, because I'm always naked. Hey. Damn it, Ekamaru's assistant just happened to now this. Where did that peaceful mood that lasted until yesterday go? This is bad. Now he knows foaming at the mouth. She's right. I've never seen foam that color before. Impossible. It's an emphatically rare color. Normally only found in the depths of the netherworld sea. In that case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it, I'll help out. Please wait. Um, we should do, a, what should we do about Kane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't want, we don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm that I just have an alternate, or I just have to alternate the movements of, from my left leg to my right leg, correct? <laughs> Hold on, I'll walk, so don't leave me. So let's go. With the disease in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. The actual dis an actual despair disease, and there's a, p a possibility that we might be passed along. It might be passed along. What the heck? Damn it! What should I do? <laughs> I I I will make I will go make the infected change their clothes. And then have them sleep in patient, the patient rooms. Understood. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. We're 
anyway. Everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared in the depths of the hospital. Damn it. Damn it, I never expected us to get sick. What the heck is going to happen? Let me tell you. I would not this. mind if Nagito retired permanently. Honestly, same Gundam. He can die, it's fine. Maybe. Is Mikan going to personal, personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um, hey, this is a stupid conversation. It's going to last much longer. Hey. Shouldn't it be, we seriously be thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on? Hmm. Monokuma said this disease was spread by insects that we can't see with our eyes. Would bug repellent from the supermarket help? I don't think so. Gee. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagi Tomokane and Abuki aren't acting normal at all. If it spreads to, if it spreads to anyone Oh, this is actually still her. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But, but those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. Hey, Hyoko. <laughs> I know. It can't be that easy. It is important to make sure that we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so we don't, that way they don't spread the disease. Uh, isolate? You. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading is even the... It's the only option to spread it from spread... Or keep it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, everyone catches the if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we would allow it or we should allow it to spread. Hold on a second. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Ch Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as the disease is Monokuma's motive, we just have to ignore it. And we just ignore a killing will happen again. And to prevent that, we have to prevent the disease from spreading. Spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if we quarantine them, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's going to stay here, obviously. She's been touching all the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey. Then why don't you stay, too? Huh? huh? Now that I think about it, you've touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if anything happens. Contact you. How are we supposed to do that? Jeez. Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep ma meeting in person, we can catch the disease. Hey, you. So I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh, yeah, I got it. Fine. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There's a motel on this island. So until this matter is resolved, we will stay the night here. And... What? Do you really have to say that such a dirty place? What are you supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This we must be vigilant about protection. Empire. I have those who I must protect. You. They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you. This is an unkind thing to say, you fiend. How dare you call my four dark demons of destruction hamsters? Jeez. Fine, I'll just stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying! <laughs> Even if it is quarantine, we're still going to be the ones on the same island, so just call us if something happens. Huh? What are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us for, as a group. It is, is it really okay to fall for that? No. It's not like we've stopped being friends. I don't know. I don't want a killing to happen ever again. And we can prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right. There's no way we're going to lose together here, you know? That's right. Because if it happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko. What did you say to me earlier? Something about being the first one to get cut off? And? What? What's wrong with that? Huh. This this must be the moment. It's not like Mikon and Jaime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're going to stay here too? Huh? You too. <laughs> this life is mine. Just, the life of mine is a spare anyway. Huh. Fine then. Do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Are you sure you might be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. 
you really, really okay with this, then I'm going to leave the rest of you, okay? <laughs> Whatever's happening over here, I'll just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on. Shouldn't you guys head to the motel before you catch that disease? I am sorry. I am sorry, but we are forcing this upon you like this. No. What everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you. Both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure that we find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think. At least probably. I'd really prefer she had more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> That'll make sure to figure out a way to communicate later. Bye! Bye! Do your best to try and stay alive! <laughs> and just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it to turn out to be like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's the bastard Monotuma's fault anyway. I, I agree! Shh, I can't even believe he'd actually arranged something as irritating as this disease. <laughs> Hello! Uh, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Whew. They finally finished changing, and everyone is resting in their rooms. <laughs> huh? Why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. They must have left to get the fruits to bring back later. <laughs> everyone is so kind. I am so glad everyone is thoughtful towards their friends. Well, well like I said... <laughs> We're all equals when we are sick, so let's all work together and do our very best. Hi, Amy. I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden that I have to bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there were three people who caught the monokuma despair disease, Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to hell. And as a safeguard, Fuyuhiko and myself, all together, six people are staying at the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonia, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekamaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about the despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Huh. I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiko, and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so the sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'll give it to them this time. It wasn't a bad picture. It wasn't a bad picture, so I'll give it to them. Are you okay? Your complexion is blush purple shade. It might it might be a severe can can or cyanotic reaction. Hi, Amy, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mika finally got off of me and I grabbed my grabbed my shoulders and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Uh, Hajime! Uh, Hajime, you've regained your consciousness. I, I'm I'm so glad. I thought you died. Me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. I'm sorry. sorry. I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so that doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Then I'll be the, on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Sorry, I, I can't refrain from laughing on that. That was good. Uh, they're, they're actually doing good today. Hey, hey. What are you guys doing? Will you eat up? No, this is really... This is... I, I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Were you guys sleeping together? Bastard. You dirty rotten bastard. You guys freaking high school students. Seriously, you got this all wrong. Damn it. We don't have the time for that. Nagino, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? <laughs> this is bad. Now's not the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously, vigorously leapt out of the bed and ran to the on-call room. Damn it. Hi, mate. Now's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Fuyuhiko and I changed after Mikan when she ran into the Nagito's room. Uh, uh, Nagito, please get a hold of yourself. 
despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagi to react Don't at all. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Fidget, fidget. Damn it, he's totally waiting for it. Damn it. This looks very bad. Despite Mikan's cries, I didn't see Nagi to react at all. Mikan, is Nagito all right? Uh, 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 it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. How light is that? Is it the sweet potato soft? If so, that's pretty light. Please don't interfere. Hey, look at it. Is it Nagito's mouth moving? You're right. He must be trying to say something. Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted his, her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, Apparently, his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Monokuma said Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and he actually feels really crappy. Like, But what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to be have a class trial, right? Yeah. Don't talk like that. Yes. Nagito is never going to die. I will save him by any means necessary. I see. I see. Got that. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes. Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Then follow me. While you're resting for the goods, or while you're resting, the goods arrived. Or, oh, while you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show you to them. The goods. Aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Okay, we'll go to the lobby. Fuyuhiko. I actually am very happy that I got to stay with Fuyuhiko and um, Mikan because this is like actually a good group for me. The goods were delivered. Let's hurry up and go. I, yeah, like I said, this is if, like if I were actually to hang around in a group, it would it would be Nekamaru and honestly Fuyuhiko is definitely moved up for me, so I definitely would hang out with Fuyuhiko now. Hey Fuyuhiko, what did you mean by Damn the goods? Right. Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk. Talking about the Game Boy. Fuhi was talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor in a camera unit. Hey, what's this? Huh. Perfect timing. That blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing a button just below that light. I just have to press a button? I did what Fuhiko said. Press the button. What's up? Hey, this is Hayame. Hee <laughs> hee, loud and clear. Uh, like, it's perfectly connected. Kasuichi, then this is... Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. Thank you, Kazuichi. All right. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanics shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember the alley with all those shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. It is a surveillance camera for a household use. And I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss video chat, huh? True. It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. So... It may be a hassle, but we'll be connecting to each other from here now, from now on, okay? This will be the test run this time, so I guess th this should be pretty fun. Okay, then. See you later. Bye. Huh. Kazuichi, you left this while you were resting. Damn right. The surveillance video camera unit comes from a surveillance camera and the surveillance monitor. Anything left, or anything the camera records is broadcast live to the monitor. So he prepared two sets uh, and swapped each of the, their cameras. I see. By swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently, he modified it a little and widened the narrow communication range beyond just the household Even use. So. Even so, he still had a limit, so he apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. That we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel? Huh. You didn't notice he was contacting me from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. Then they're say staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them? when we need to. Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them will be tomorrow morning, so don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected, as the hair of the enormous organization. Huh? Hmm, what is it? Nothing. Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is not leave. Return to your rooms now. Then, sweet. 
Now then. Is it that time already? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? Hmm. Are you planning to be on the all-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? You a hospital facility is for sick people, so it's not for lodgings and young romantic trysts, you know? You too, what are you talking about? I oh, I see. Your generation has just fallen out of the habit of looking at the bulletin boards. I'm Come so on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice right there. A notice on the bulletin board? I was worried about that. I, I've been worried about that ever since we saw this place. The bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words, right. It's, it's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient that needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? I then I'll just allow one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can save the night. There's no way... There, and there's no way we can make M Mikon leave. Jeez. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to the cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikon, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. I don't trust this. Uh, Fugihiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No. The ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of, of getting me getting so worried? All right, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad about leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now, I should try and get some sleep. Good evening. It is time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we're going to learn about how to make taiyaki. The first thing you need is a time machine. We'll travel back to the time to the Meihai period and meet a person named Se Seijiro Kanabe. He used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It is important that you gently cheer him up because you're going to need you're going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, he's going to insist that he should try making his pastries fish-shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily make his pastries in the shape of a fish. Then, as a final touch, you'll need to take these or name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you have finished making Taiyaki. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. What a great cooking class, Monokuma. Such a great cooking class. Morning. Good morning, Make sure you have a tropical day, enthusiasm, blah, 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 blah. Good. I'm worried about Mekon and the others. I should hurry to the hospital. Yes. Is it going to fast travel me? The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. It will fast travel me. Cool. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So, what should we do? There's a little time before we need to make the contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm a little worried about how he's doing. W worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. I don't even remember what Na Nagito's room is. I think it's two. Oh yeah, Fuyuhiko's already there. Cool. Oh, they even have it on the door. That's actually super smart. But at least I remember the room number. <laughs> Mikan, how's everything going? Mikon, how's Nagido doing? Um, Same as usual. No, actually, he might have been. He might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. Are you freaking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? Please. But as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagido die. Yes. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, hi, MA. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded about how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Is it just Nagito, Akane, and... Can we go in here? Looks like this is an open room. There shouldn't be anybody inside. No. Whoa. 
Wow. Are they working on Nagido? Heaven. Also, this doesn't count. What? I'm actually proud I got that. There's stairs though. There's a second floor of this. Is Nekamaru on here? Conference room. An MRI. Staff room. Oh, this is the on-call room that we were in. Okay. Conference room. What's in here? It probably won't let me go in here, but... Oh, it will. Hmm, this room is... There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess there's this, like, a conference room. He goes probably like, oh my god. We need to make contact. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'll leave. I'll go do the thing I'm supposed to. But he goes like, hurry up. Like, bye. Whatever. I just want to see what this was. I wanted to fight Nagito. Not even Nagito. <laughs> Nekamaru. That's who I really wanted to find was Nekamaru. <laughs> if I could find him, I could just, you know, do the thing. This incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making connection either. As soon as the familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real, you real clear. <laughs> We're gonna know too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. It might be for the best. I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the other one over there? Nope. Nope. We're here, all here except for Hiyoko. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like we're all. It, it seems we all look like an apparent enemies with eyes of that coward. Um, she locked herself in a room. She said from the other side of the door she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like there was also a testy situation. Hey, hey. Oh, so how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito is actually in serious danger. Mm. I already know he's in serious danger. No, not that. He's seriously wandering, or wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But is he going to be right, Nagito? Is he going to be okay? He is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey. First Nekamaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we can't really say. Yes. You can't really say? That's impossible! Monami, why are you on that side? Because um... it would be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on there. Ah, you are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't. Please don't discriminate! The despair hotel, the desire disease is horrible. That is a dangerous disease, and I cannot destroy it. That can even destroy this island. So until we figure out what, how to deal with it, it will be best on this, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyigo had cut the connection. Don't fuck with that me. shitty stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Ugh, damn it. I'm gonna go outside to cool off. Fuyigo practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do is wait. Just wait patiently until a situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing that we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in the hospital? I paced back and forth around in the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. Ding dong bing bong. Is now. Please return to Melbourne. Sleep. Wow. Sleep. Damn it. 
feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over now. Uh, skipped over, and now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying that we have to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not going to give have a clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Fujiko. I don't like having to check on Nagito, but here we are. Oh! Whoa, Wabuki! What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I am getting quite bored of doing nothing but sleeping. But also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time. Or, also, it would trouble you if I slept all the time. So, I was hoping to, I can help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, go get some rest of her now. It'd be a big help if you get better soon. Understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better really soon. Well, um, Abuki's in room one, apparently. But in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we'll be talking to Nagito, figuring out what's going on with the transmission, and hoping nothing bad happens. But you never know. It is Danganronpa. Something bad is bound to happen. See you guys then.